UQQ 500 tech stocks reach unprecedented levels and a big, big even number as QQQ hits $500 a share. What is next? Can it hold? Are there topping signals? Where are the topping signals come from? Here's a hint, Lux Algo. If you need a roadmap in crypto, subscribe to this channel. If you want to know where QQQ is going, turn on that alert bell so you know when we're putting out updates on not only tech stocks, but crypto. And of course, if the content works for you, hit the like button. And as a reminder, this show is brought to you by Lux Algo. It's made my life easier for things like live TA. So without further ado, let's jump into QQQ as it approaches 500. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. The QQQ mega trend, right? Every time you see these green arrows here, that's the Lux Algo quantitative system jumping on board long. Every time you see these red arrows up here, that means QQQ, that's a sell signal. And as you can see, frankly, sell signals have not worked in equities because it's a mega trend. However, at a psychological level of 500, we need to do an honest examination. Are things changing? Is the AI bubble for real? Today, July 9th, Goldman says the AI bubble is unjustified because AI is not to the point where it solves big problems yet. So going to the chart. Lux Algo had a buy signal over here around July 24th. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. July 2nd, right? It's 20 hour chart, my version of a daily. So we have a buy signal here. Up goes QQQ and it gives you these nice targets, right? The targets are 501 and 515. Now, right now, as we speak, QQQ is bumping up against this red band. That's like a Bollinger band. And if you don't know what that is, it's something that helps you figure out the statistical limit of an up move. Now, naturally, QQQ, because it's a mega trend, has been bumping up against this point, but it's bumped it one, two, three times. In technical analysis, things can happen in threes. Now, let's look at the Lux Algo oscillator down here. Lux Algo, this green on green, indicates, frankly, FOMO, extreme inflows. Who's been buying QQQ? Retail. Who's been selling QQQ and shorting it? Hedge funds. There's also another signal on this oscillator, warning of a topping signal over here. That's this triangle. And if we go to a four-hour chart, right, taking away slightly from the evergreen-ish nature of the video, there's 503 on a four-hour chart where you have an X signal. I'll blow this up so you can see it, right? This X signal here is warning of a top in Qs. So will Qs top? My sense is that they have to do a blow off. In other words, you don't get to a level like 500. And even though everyone's afraid of it, if it doesn't really back off, they take it out, right? Can you imagine the Wall Street Journal headline? QQQ takes out 500, right? CNBC, Jim Cramer. Oh my God, right? You got to be careful because when you see FOMO like this, you haven't seen this type of FOMO really at all, all the way up here. You saw a little bit of people pushing in here to see stocks fall in a range, but you haven't seen this level of FOMO. And Lux Algo is telling you that when you have a top signal, meh, because it's a mega trend. But when you have a top signal and this green on green money flow indicating people retail possibly pouring in, hey, that should be that should be kind of a flag, right? It's like QQQ or Bitcoin or QQQ, or another asset inside of equities. So as a reminder, this show is brought to you by Luxalgo. Stay tuned for more TA videos and price predictions.